Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the final video in this series here where I show you what we've created in this particular series. Okay, so uh, if you leave a comment in the description, if you want me to create the admin section of this project, uh, you can leave a comment. And if I do create the admin section of this uh, series, the link will be in the description to that playlist. So, so far, this is what we've done, the front end, and it works as intended. So this video is a sign that we've completed the course. So what I wanna do is let me create a new account and see if I can run everything as intended. So I'm going to create a, an account as Peter. So I'm gonna say Peter at email.com and then put a password and another password repeat. Now, of course, you can change these inputs to password type. So the password is not visible here if you want that. So let's click the sign up. Okay, now that we are done, we can do a login and login successful. There we are. So now you have a drive just like Google Drive. So it shows you here how much space you have here we have 2 GB of course that can be increased uh, if you edit the PHP API.php file it's right here the drive total we can put that at 10 GB if we wanted to and immediately it will update there as you can see so if I want now I have my I have a few folders here favorites recent trash and then I can add some folders even. So if I click new folder, I can add my folder and hit save. And there we go, we have a folder and I can open that folder by double clicking and then I can add files in there. Then I can navigate through my folders from here. I can also add a new folder within this folder if I wanted to, that's fine. But if I click there, I'm back here. Let me try and upload files. Now we can drag and drop files here, that's fine. Or I can click to add a file. So let me open that and the upload is complete. Now I have a file. Okay, so it can tell the file is an image, it says image over there, even though it shows the wrong icon, probably missed that. But then I can preview this file over here, like so. Okay, and then I can download if I want it by clicking that download button. Same thing here, I can download from there. And if I want, I can share this file, for example. Right now it's not shared. I can share it to the public and hit save. And there's a link over here, which I can copy if I hit save. And then now anyone can actually have access to this file and download it if they want. All right. Now with that in mind, I can also share to very specific people as long as I know their email addresses. If I put there, I can type an email. For example, there's mary at email.com. can add that. And then there's email at email.com. That's another email of people I can give access to. And then hit save. So which means now this file is no longer available to the public if I refresh here, I can still see it because it's mine. But if I do indeed log out and try to refresh this page or even try to download, it says, sorry, you don't have access to that file because I'm logged out. And also if I just try to view, it says no files found because I can only view this. Only specific people have access. For example, Mary has access. So I can try to log in as Mary login successful mary has no files but she has access to this particular file and there it is and she can also download this file so this is pretty much the gist of how things work here if you exceed your limit you can't upload anymore etc etc uh, here we can upload all kinds of files uh, these can be video files let's try and upload a larger file here for example this one you can see the progress there as it uploads the file. 
Okay, and there we go. Upload complete. And there it is. We can also upload multiple files if we want by selecting multiple files. So I can upload maybe this one and this one at the same time. And let me click open. There isn't enough space to save these files. Okay, that sucks. But is there not enough space really? Uh, let's see. This one is 200 MB. This one is 1 GB. So maybe a small bug in there. Let's check it out, shall we? So in the HTML file here, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This looks fine. So where we want to check is the function that uploads our file, which is inside the upload object. The upload object is right over where? Let's see, there it is. And the send function is what sends there. And this is the part that does the calculation. Where is that part? Here, right there. So if you don't want that space limit, you can also remove this. But even if a user removes this, it still checks on the PHP site. So there's good security there. So my mouse is just scrolling all over the place uncontrollably. Let's see here. Okay. So file size starts at zero and then it says plus equal to. Okay. So drive total here multiplied by that. Let's see. Let me just make sure the math is correct here. If drive occupied plus file size is greater than this, how exactly is this greater? So let me look at file size. I just want to see an alert of the file size itself. Just want to understand what could be the issue. So let me refresh so that the JavaScript is refreshed. Just want to be sure. So that's 10 there, right? This is the number, right? So how can this number be bigger? So I'm going to say file size, right? So let's do our math properly. And uh, here I want drive occupied this time. Let's see, drive occupied. Um, what's the number there? Let's refresh. What have we occupied already? Oops. Okay. This looks like, oh, it is the same number because I didn't refresh the page. Okay. So let's do that. Now, looks like the same number. Oh, no, it isn't the same number, actually. Drive total. No, no, drive occupied. Mm hmm. All right. This looks accurate, actually, just like this one. But what about the drive total? What is that? What does it say our drive total is? It should just be the number 10, right? So let me refresh, add again. Let's go back and try this again one more time. OK, so it says 10, which is valid. Now, if 10, let me multiply this here. Drive total there. What is drive total if we do multiply like that? So bear with me here a little bit. This is how we do troubleshooting. OK. OK, that, that is weird. What has just happened? Okay. 
I am lost now. Uh, let's do a return here. What is going on? Oops. Sorry. Why is it showing? Uh... Okay, so it's lost the information for the user here. That's why. Oh, boy. Okay, so let me... I can't even log out here, can I? Okay, let me go back to the login page. Let me log in as Peter. So some kind of malfunction there. Still says, hi, user. What is going on? Oh, boy. Something weird going on. Okay, so maybe here, it's because of this alert I have added here. It has disturbed things. So let me try again. Ah, yes. So that was the issue then. So there's something wrong with this code over here, I guess. Ah. But why? This is weird. Hmm. Okay, let me do this. Let's say let drive total is equal to, and then let me do this. Right? This can't be difficult now, can it? And then let me alert drive total like that. Okay, let's try it this way. All right, so let me add. Ah, okay, in that case, it works just fine. Okay, so drive total now. So how is it possible that this plus this is greater than this? This is not possible. So let's do a calculator. Let's do our own calculation. So from there, I'm going to say that plus this. What is that equal to? Okay, so that's the number. Let me copy that number and let's put it here. Okay, without the commas. So this is definitely smaller than that. So what's going on? So maybe the way I have done it like this, it will work than the way it was here. So let me just grab that and do this. Paste. All right. Okay, so let's give that a shot, shall we? If I add now, refresh, add that and that and open. Steve says there's not enough space. What is going on? Okay, let me undo one more time and let's see what's happening. Ah, you know the issue. This is one thing I always forget. You know, it's a very simple issue, but it's very important. You see, this drive occupied here plus file size, instead of it adding them like numbers, it concatenates them. It joins them together and makes a very huge number. So you have to remember that this plus sign in JavaScript is overloaded, meaning it has two jobs. Sometimes it can act like a string, it can join two strings if it thinks one of these is a string. So most likely this one is considered a string in here. So we can do uh, justice to this by telling it to parse it as an integer like that. So whenever you're adding two numbers and you want it to add them properly, just make sure you parse them as the right file type. So this can work here just fine. I'm going to parse int. Now here, this can work just fine because I'm using the multiplication thingy. So it will know that obviously it has to treat that as a number. So that's one thing to keep in mind 
when you are dealing with these things as well. So let me see if I'm right by clicking there and this time it shouldn't tell me that there's not enough space. So I'm going to say open and there it is, it managed to upload. So very simple things like this can cause you a lot of headaches if you're not careful. So there we go and there we go. So you can see also the space occupied and the files here and we can now share these files accordingly. We can also delete files if we want. Let me delete this one. Delete. Yay. Now you see that I've deleted that file. Um, but the space hasn't reduced. That's because in the trash, that's where that file is. So I can also restore the file back to my drive here, which is awesomeness. All right. So things are working as intended. If I want, I can favorite, for example, this movie here, and it will show up in my favorites folder there, so I can easily find it. And also, I can delete. So this file, this file also uh, is huge. So I can delete this one, <coughs> go to trash. If I delete from the trash, it's permanently deleted. And as you can see there, the size will reflect that as well. All right, guys. So everything is working. You can log out now, uh, add new folders, etc., etc. So like I've said, if you want me to make the admin section of this uh, project and take it a bit further and add, uh, what do you call them, packages, let me know in the uh, description, then we can create a new series that deals with the admin section of this one otherwise hopefully you've learned something in the whole series of this and that makes you a better programmer that always makes me happy so i'll see you in another tutorial